All right, all you big cat lovers, it's time to take a stroll. We're gonna walk around the compound. <laughs> well, hello, princess. What you got? In? Got a deer leg. Oh dear. I think that was uh, I think that was a deer that got smucked out on the road. But here's it has to be like freshly smucked. So we'll get calls from like the sheriff's department or local police and just like, hey, a deer just got smucked out on the road. You want it? And during other times, we might be like, yeah, uh, you know, like maybe your freezer's full or something like that. But now it's in the middle of, uh, you know, pandemic times. And we're like, hey, we got to be more kind of particular about getting meat. So, yeah. Show us, uh, show us where it done got smucked. We'll go get it. I guess there were two. Yeah, I guess there were two that got smucked. One of them was like, you know, in in one piece, and then the other one turned into uh, deer jelly out on the road. Smuckers. <laughs> there we go. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, here again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. It is, we're, you know, still part of the couple of days that I got to be back. Oh, boys. Boys. My baby boys. My baby boys. Hi. Hello. Hi, misters. It's kind of hard to tell, like, the wind is kind of acting funny. It is kind of coming from this way. It is, for the most part. But then you get, like, around certain structures, and then it kind of... It's hard to tell exactly where it's coming from. Ra has been acting... He just... It doesn't even... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I haven't seen either of them in two months. He's already got to just act weird. He's already got to act weird. And he's like, Ra, how can you even tell that it's me? I have a mask on. I have a mask and sunglasses. Uh-huh. Oh, your powers of perception. They're so magnificent. Ra-nificent. That's the name of uh, Araleigh's electronic dance music. Um, he's got an electronic dance music band. I mean, band. It's it's just him and two other guys with like MIDI synthesizers. To make dance music. Ronificent. What? I'm gonna talk to Zooks. Is that okay with you? And he's like, there's a lot of times I've had to prove that no, it is not. That no, it is not okay with me. How many times do I have to like basically flip my lid for you to realize that? Hmm? <laughs> Rasa, I think, I think that's Rasa, and that's Rasa's beats. Rasa beats. Speed day yesterday. It was. And, uh, yeah, livestock. 
livestock donations have been, you know, kind of, mm, I mean, like, there was, like, a, a huge, like, at the beginning, so a couple, couple months ago when this was all kind of kicking off, and, like, there was a bunch of people who had kind of, hi, hi, Sid. Yeah. The okay, wind's kind of blowing this way, so I just want to make sure it's still. Come back. Hey, okay, beautiful. There's a, a lot of farmers, a lot of ranchers that had kind of offloaded a bunch of their at risk animals within like the first few weeks of the pandemic, of the quarantine, of all the stuff, the social distancing. And they do that for a variety of different reasons. Just, you know, probably main thing just being uh, resource scarcity amidst kind of like an uncertain kind of, you know, or the prospect or the, or the, the potential for resource scarcity. It looks like you have a you have a cow or a horse that's already old and kind of sick or has like some issues, weird knees, weird legs, and it's like okay, under normal circumstances, under good times, you know, it's I might be able to kind of justify keeping this animal around, but then we start getting into weird like who knows what's going to happen COVID times. That's when like things get a little squirrely and you don't really know you don't know what the future is going to be like and and yeah there was a bunch of people uh just Heidi was inundated with uh, calls just non-stop calls can you take my cow can you take my horse can you take my cow can you take my horse and then after after that first kind of kind of panic subsided just it just like it just stopped and the donations just they dried up real quick real quick see if I can find my kai. To the point that we actually, Heidi and I, yep, he's in. He's actually in between the boxes. I don't know if you can even see him. It's hard to see. To the point that Heidi, actually, uh, like Heidi and I, we 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 our, our old cattle trailer, our old flatbed cattle trailer. Which I mean, if it's flatbed, there's only one way to transport cattle on him that if uh, it's if they've got dollars on their eyes <laughs> so got that thing back got that back from Calvin had to like fix it up like real quick replace some stuff get a battery get like a new kind of uh, winch cable kind of clicky clicky doodad clicky gimbal kind of thing and then uh yeah went out and actually picked up a cow like the old days did that this afternoon it was a uh, stunk it was a mama cow I guess she had a bad birth bad birth kind of messed her up uh and she could not be saved. So, I had to go shoot her. And then, I, uh, the guy, he's a, a very sweet gentleman. Very, very sweet. And he's just like, well, I mean, we can take care of the calf. But, you know, I was kind of hoping that, you know, of course, that's the, kind of the mom's job and everything. And I've got, and he, he was talking about how, 
you know, he's got his land, he's got his property, but he also drives a truck, you know, and he was saying about how, well, we we can absolutely, but it's, we can take care of the calf, but it's a little bit, it's like, ah, we know some people, which we do, we know some people. So then he's like, could you take the calf? And we're like, yeah, we'll take the calf. And not, not like, take the calf. <laughs> No, no, we actually, like, find, find some folks to bottle feed it. So, put the, and I had bubs. I had bubs with me. <laughs> Who gets car sick. Bubs gets really car sick. Like, he drools. Like, he, like, and he, it drips, it's just drippy. So he's in the front seat, and he's drippy drooling. Oh, poor fella. I've got a two-day-old bull calf in the back seat of the truck, just peeing, and just trying to like figure out like what is going on. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Heidi had to meet me in this guy's field because she had to go because we split up and we had to buy different supplies. She had to go to one place. She had to go to a town about. 60 some odd miles away to get specific like winch apparatus and then we ended up meeting in this nice fella's uh, field I think that she was trying to take pictures because this calf was also trying to like basically hop up on the back seat and I was like it was hopping up on the back seat it was peeing on things I was worried it was going to get caught in the steering wheel, and I'm just like, will you sit down? I know that you're only two days old, and this is very different, strange. Oh my god, Jeremy. Very different, very strange experience that you're kind of going through right now. And yes, I did just shoot your mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But will you please exercise a little bit more, uh, you know, to put togetherness. Slade, can you do something about that stupid bird? So yeah. Little guy's getting bottle fed right now. Whoa. Whoa. I see a ball and a half a spool. And it sounds almost kind of like they're making weird, like kind of tiger moose sounds. Do you guys hear some tiger moose sounds coming from that ball and that half a spool? That's really weird. Whoa, whoa, wow. That's insane! I didn't see you! Yeah, I was super surprised. I was super surprised. Yeah, I've never been so surprised in my life. In my life. Wow. Wow. Look at all those spooly pieces. Oh, the carnage. The horror. Well, that's nice. He's gonna... He's gonna lay down in this little pool. I remember making that pool. I think me and Laura. Yeah, I can't remember who else was working on that thing. Yep. It looks nice, but we use they just like way just we found different ways to make pools without using that much concrete. There's a lot. There's a lot. And we used bags of sacrete to make it. We didn't even have, we didn't like have a concrete truck kind of come in, back up, kind of put it in there. No, we mixed 80 pound bags of concrete to make that thing. Oh boy, that was, that sucked. Oh man, that sucked. Ezra, Ezra Chu. No, other way. This way. Choo-choo! Choo. 
I want to get some capture, capture, captures of you. I want to get some capture, capture, captures of you. Oh my gosh, you're so frustrated. So frustrating. And you're ugly. You're ugly. You're ugly and no one likes you. Blech. Blech. Jeremy. All right. Well, that's all I got for this one. I know, short, short little, short little ones. I gotta do some fancy stuff, guys. <sighs> Sad. I gotta get going. I gotta get going. And you know, hopefully, hopefully it'll be like less time until the next time I can come home. Hopefully, I can start coming home with a little bit more regularity. Uh, and it seems to be kind of the way that things are looking, which is exciting, which is very exciting. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Ward in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. I'll see you folks later. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a cat, cat that loves to squeak. Oh, there's a cat, 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 cat. Oh, there are cats, cats with cute little feet. Oh, there are cats, cat, cat, cat. Oh, there are cats with stripes and there are cats with manes. So let's watch as Derek walks around the compound tonight.